is uh, considered a beautiful wintry day here in Newfoundland. Uh, it's very peaceful when you get snow like this with no wind. That looks even snow. Hey guys, Dave here, making a meatloaf. Uh, this particular uh, book with uh, recipes came with this pan. Put the note non stick, all the grease runs down the bottom, a little healthier. Anyway, I've got my uh, ground beef there. It's going to use moose, but uh, I've got nothing left that's uh, fit to use. so. I'm going to make the shepherd's pie meatloaf. I will be switching up a couple of ingredients. But anyway, um, I'm going to be using, like I said, I got uh, this here is something that goes in burgers. <laughs> uh, onion, roasted garlic. I'll be putting that in. Instead of using frozen uh, peas and carrots, I'm going to be using just canned. Um, I got the potatoes cooking there now. I'm going to be making some mashed potatoes. That's the topping for the shepherd's pie. And uh, I got some breadcrumbs that I'm going to be um, grinding up. Got some tomato paste, some pepper, some parsley, a couple of eggs. Um, it's all going to go in this mixing bowl. I'll uh, try and keep this short as I can. Like I say, um, Calls for uh, two pounds of ground beef or lamb, half a cup of grated onion. Um, I got the onion in the fridge there, I'll be getting that out. A cup of fresh uh, breadcrumbs, uh, chicken broth. I'm not going to be using the chicken broth because I'm going to be using extra tomato paste and I've also got that uh, onion roasted garlic seasoning. Anyway, um, tomato paste. Two cloves of garlic. I'll be using garlic powder. I don't have fresh garlic here at the moment. Worcestershire sauce. And uh, of course the parsley as I mentioned. Salt. Black pepper. And the peas and carrots. So anyway, pretty straightforward. I will uh, check back with you once I get everything going and get it ready for the oven. Okay. So I got my breadcrumbs mixed up. And I've got half a cup of onion. Finely chopped. In the blender as well. Potatoes just about done. We got uh, about a minute, minute and eight seconds left. So I'm gonna mix up all these ingredients here, get them going. I'll show you once I get it in the pan. All right, guys, got everything pretty much all mixed up. Just added the uh, tomato paste there last. That's gonna be for the shepherd's pie, the uh, potato topping. Just mashing up the potatoes here now. Gonna add a little bit of margarine just to make it a little more whipped. Mash them up real good. I'm gonna preheat the oven on about 350 
and uh, we'll be cooking this. I think it's about 40 minutes and uh, last 20 minutes and on uh, 400. Turn it up. So anyway, we'll get this in the pan and get everything going. Okay guys, so uh, I've got everything all spread in. The, what I did before I put the meat into the uh, into the pan, I sprayed it with, uh, with uh, pan. Sprayed the bottom, sprayed everything, just a light coating on everything. There's the mashed potato. We're going to be mixing in peas and carrots in with the potato. And then that'll be covered over the top of the meatloaf. We'll have our um, shepherd's pie meatloaf. Anyway, the oven is preheating. It's uh, going to be 350. And when I put it in, I'm going to turn it up to 400. Bake it for 40 minutes. So we'll have a look. Probably cook it for about an hour. Anyway get back to you okay guys so the meatloaf was in the oven for uh, 40 minutes uh, on 400 cook it out now I've got the mashed potato spread over the top it's gonna go back in for another 20 minutes or so I'll get a nice brown over the uh, topping anyway back to you okay guys here's the finished product I don't have a boil on my oven I would broil it a little bit um, to brown it up just a little bit but it seems to be brown pretty nice around the edges and whatnot so good to go so we've got a shepherd's pie meatloaf thoroughly gonna enjoy this one it can be made with any kind of meat it can be lamb ground turkey ground beef, any kind of wild game that's minced. I think one of my favorites would be moose with this, as well as uh, caribou. Anyway, just thought I'd share. Enjoy everyone. Thanks. <laughs>